Hey ladies, welcome to day four. We are going to do our as many rounds as possible. So I'm going to go into what our workout moves are, then we'll move into our warm up. So burpees, everybody knows what a burpee is. Just a reminder, you're coming down, jumping those feet back, jumping them back up and jump. So that's burpee. Towel crunches, you will need a towel today. So you're gonna wrap the towel around you, just around your waist. You're gonna come down onto the floor and you're going to grab the opposite side of the towel. So this is the left side I'm grabbing with my right hand. Right side I'm grabbing with my left hand. You're going to come into a crunch and at the same time you're pulling the towel the opposite direction. So like this. So you're squeezing those abs together. Okay? So you're going to need a towel for today as well as your weights and some water. Uh, lateral, lateral raises are next. So grabbing your 5 to 10 pound dumbbells. Feet are about shoulder width apart, nice tight tummy. You're raising out to the side, just up to shoulder height. You're not overextending, just shoulder height and down. Shoulder height and down. Moving into squats. So a reminder, back on the heels, sticking the bum out, right down into a squat, squeezing as you come up. And then into bird dogs. So bird dogs, you're in tabletop position. Your opposite arm comes up, opposite leg comes up, and then you're gonna come down. Opposite arm, opposite leg, come down. 10 burpees, 20 towel crunches, 30 lateral raises, 40 squats, 50 bird dogs. So one, two for the bird dogs. So it's not left, right equals one. It's each time you raise your hand, it's one uh, rep. So 10 burpees, 20 towel crunches, 30 lateral raises, 40 squats, 40 bir 50 bird dogs. And you are going to do as many rounds of that as you possibly can in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set our timer for 10 minutes. And then we're going to power through. You're going to see how many you can do. And I want you to keep track of it, okay? Okay, so we're going to move into our workout. I placed the board here. Hopefully you can see that okay so that you can follow along because we're all going to be working at different intensity levels. Uh, again, I'm just starting out uh, from my recovery from my C-section. So there's a lot of things that I can't do quickly yet. Um, a lot of things that still are very challenging for me. You may be in the same situation where you're just starting out. You're at square one slowly moving into it, no, uh, no issues with that. Uh, so everybody's going at their own pace, so I put this here so that you don't necessarily have to follow me. I have my timer going for 10 minutes, so power through. So we're getting through this board of exercises as many times as we possibly can. I want you to keep track of how many you've done, and I want you to post it on our Facebook group. So I want you to post a sweaty selfie, so you're swealthy, and I want you to post how you did. Um, it's just uh, just a fun way to get people engaging and, and encouraging each other and uh, you know seeing where everybody's at and it's just uh, just a fun way to, to you know sort of communicate with each other so we're gonna get started I'm gonna set the timer uh, make sure you have your towel your water your weights and, uh, and we're set to go we're starting with those 10 burpees so we're starting in three two one and go so jumping up at the top just walk those feet back if you need to Jump them back if you can. Most people hate burpees. I actually like them only because I know that they're effective. And then you're going to move to those 20 towel crunches. Just as a reminder, it's wrapped around your back and you're pulling in opposite directions so that you're pulling your stomach muscles together. Your shoulder blades should be coming off the ground. Mine, I can't quite do that yet because I'm still just building those ab muscles. I pretty much don't have any currently. So I'm slowly in the process of building those back up. So I can't get my shoulders off the ground but I'm encouraging you to try to do that. And breathing out on the way up, in on the way down. Today should be challenging, ladies. It should be very difficult. A lot different than the last few days where we've just been kind of warming up, setting a baseline, seeing where we're at, pushing ourselves a little bit more each day, getting past any muscle soreness, you should be just moving forward every single day. I 
And reminder on those delts, you're pulling the belly button in towards the back. Feet are shoulder width apart. A little bit of a bend in your knees and you're only coming up to shoulder height. Breathing out and in on the way down. Breathing out. If you need to go down in lighter weights if you have them, grab some water bottles, use those instead. If your arms start getting really tired, uh, then you can actually put all the weights down and just do what I'm doing right now and no weights at all. And remember to keep that belly nice and tight. These get tiring. Shoulders start to burn. This exercise rounds off your shoulders, which makes your waist appear smaller, which is kind of nice. And it makes your shoulders look nice and strong. And that's what we're after. We want nice, strong bodies. And then 40 squats. Reminder, sticking the butt back, going back on the heels. I should be able to see you anytime that you're doing a squat. You should have your toes and be able to wiggle them. I'm not sure if you can see my toes on the camera, but I can wiggle my toes when I come down, okay? And squeezing the bum on the way up. Breathing in. I use my hands for leverage. This just helps me so that I'm balanced a little bit because you're coming so far back on your heels that sometimes you feel like you're going to fall backwards. That's how you should be feeling. So I put my hands out front to sort of off balance me so that I'm uh, balanced completely and then I don't feel so much like I'm gonna fall back on my heels. Remember to squeeze the glutes at the top. Some of you can probably power through these fast like this. Just depends on where you're at. Go at your own pace, but promise me that you're pushing yourself. Because that's what it's about. You get what you put in. Anything, as I said before, that's worth having is not easy to have usually. Sometimes you luck out, and it might be, but for the most part, whatever you want's worth fighting for. So keep pushing yourself. A little bit more each day, a little bit faster each day. You'll get a little bit stronger each day. And that's the name of the game. And now moving into my bird dogs. As I said, you don't need to follow me. You're just going at your pace. So opposite arm, opposite leg. You don't need to hold it for long, just, just a quick second. And each time you raise your arm up, that's one. And keep breathing through it. Stop when you need some water. But just keep your body moving. So even if you have to take a break, don't stop moving. Keep the body moving. Even if you're just walking around the living room or your bedroom or wherever it is that you're doing the videos. Keep moving. Our timer will go off when we're done. And if you only get through once, that's fine. If you get through twice, awesome. One and a half, two and a half. As long as you're giving 110%, as long as you're getting stronger every single day, and as long as you are pushing yourself past your comfort zone, then that is what I want you to do. That is what is going to get you results. And I'm back up to burpees. So I'm going on to my second round. talk a lot during burpees because they're hard. Keep 
Keep pushing, ladies. It's meant to be tough. It's meant to make you out of breath. Pull those in the opposite direction. And keep the breathing going. Breathing makes a huge difference in your workouts. Moving into my delts. My goal for today was to get through twice. Not sure if I'll make it, but I'm sure I'm gonna try. I always try to set a goal. I'm gonna put the weights down. My shoulders are getting sore. Carrying my big 12 pound, two month old around. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have little ones, a lot heavier than 12 pounds you're carrying around. So your arms are probably pretty sore too. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Keep going, keep going. We've got this. Getting stronger. We gotta be getting pretty close to those 10 minutes. Remember to squeeze the bum on the way up for your squats. Keep pushing. Back on those heels. Squeezing that bum. Tummy nice and tight. I'm getting tired, but that's good. That means I'm pushing myself. I'm past my comfort zone right now. I'm pushing hard. Keep pushing. Doing a good job. Keep breathing through it. Make sure you're sharing with your accountability partner how things are going for you. Be there for each other. Lean on each other with nutrition, with exercise. And there we go, that's 10 minutes. So my goal was twice through. I got uh, about one and three quarters through, which I'm happy with. I'm sweating, I'm huffing and puffing, I'm tired. I can feel my arms, I can feel my abs, I can feel my legs. Um, so to me, that's success. To me, that means things are getting stronger. We're gonna move into our cool down. So we're gonna take some nice deep breaths in. So deep breath, and exhale it out. Nice deep breath, and exhale it out. We're gonna go down on the floor, legs in a V. Nice deep breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna come into the center. That feels really good to me right now. Feeling a nice stretch. Grab some water if you need it. Feel a nice, good stretch. And slowly come up, nice deep breath in. To the one side. On the exhale, you're coming down. Reaching down towards your toes. Legs nice and straight, bum stays on the ground. And a nice stretch. Oh, I am tired. Oh boy. Hopefully you ladies are tired too. Nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're twisting over to the other side. Should be able to come a little bit further on your stretches each day as well. So you're gaining strength, you're gaining stamina, you're gaining flexibility. It's just all around everything. Um, I pretty much work full body 
uh, the whole time and as we go through our stages as was outlined in our welcome guide slowly coming up bringing the soles of the feet together as we come through the stages that I outlined in the guideline then we'll work on different things uh, move into a little bit more weights with supersets and uh, the last uh, couple weeks they're intense so uh, please push yourself during these first couple of weeks um, because it's going to set your foundation and it's going to start um, getting your stamina going and releasing that we're going to come out straight with our legs nice deep breath in on the exhale coming down towards your toes flexing your toes towards you and legs stay nice and straight no bend in the knees and just holding it there and release we'll bring one leg behind us sitting on that ankle and leaning back we'll start to work a little more abs and stuff as we move along too uh, my main concern with abdominals is uh, especially for anybody who's a mom that's doing this which is the bulk of you there are some uh, ladies who aren't moms um, if you have abdominal separation, uh, right in the center here where your six-pack uh, is, um, then there's certain exercises you shouldn't do. We're going to switch over to the other side. Certain exercises that you shouldn't do, uh, I myself suffer from that. Um, and because I just had my fourth, I haven't had time to work on it. Um, I, that's, I am designing my series uh, that's coming out in December for that specific um, purpose, as well as uh, incontinence. Um, so that series... Uh, there's my little three-year-old. That series um, will be coming out uh, in December, and uh, that will help all those things. But that's my worry uh, with any ladies um, who have abdominal separation is that there are certain exercises that you should not be doing. The towel crunches are a great one um, to do for anybody. That's why I chose to do those today. Um, so that's, that's one of my concerns. So if you're wondering why I don't do a lot of abs, uh, that is part of it. We will do a little more abs though, some stuff that's safe for everybody. Uh, if anybody's local to me um, in the Aurelia-ish area um, and you want to be checked to see if you uh, have the muscle separation, I am more than happy to do that for you. It literally takes um, about a minute. I will also be outlining how to do that in my video series, but if you want to know beforehand, uh, because certain exercises can actually make it worse. And lean down the other side, nice stretch, and release, and we'll do a couple nice deep in breaths in, and release, and release, just one sec, honey, okay, one more, deep in breath, and release, good job today, ladies, tough workout, it's getting tougher, super proud of all of you guys for sticking with it. Uh, keep sticking with it. Take your sweaty selfie. I'm going to take mine and I'm going to post it. Um, so please take that and please let me know how many rounds you got through. Uh, really curious to know uh, how everybody's doing. Uh, and keep posting feedback. If you're looking for an accountability partner, uh, still and then post on there that you're looking for somebody, okay? We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tabata. So uh, we're going to celebrate with some Tabata style. If you don't know what that is, you will tomorrow, and you are going to sweat. Thanks for joining me. I will see you on day five. We're almost uh, through our first week. Awesome job.